<laughs> Alright guys, how's it going? You know who I am. My name is Mittens, welcome back to the Nostaris Wow Rogue playthrough, yeah. Couldn't wait to do a bit more of this, been home for the weekend, but now I'm back. Got back on my character. M little bit of moonwalking there, see? Yeah, thanks a lot guys for the support this has been getting so far, I'm loving it. <coughs> Everybody wanting to see more and more of this. Uh, and I am here to deliver, if I can whoop, sort out the camera here. Got the nice Tauren Warrior Scout, low and slow, loving it. Followed by Code Jackal, the undead warrior. Everyone's playing a warrior. What the hell's going on here? The place is full of people wanting to play on the Stalrius right now. It is fantastic. We are behind. Shout out to the Warlock, Deathlock. He's probably heading to Orgrimmar to do some RFC. He knows what it's about. That's where we're going. We've got a quest first to do, which is... Hidden enemies. We're going to go to Skull Rock. You know what Skull Rock is. It sounds like a place of pirates, but it's not. It's a place of cultists outside of Orgrimmar. And we're not talking about modern pansy Skull Rock, where you kill Void Walkers. No, we are talking about old-fashioned Skull Rock, where you will find it difficult not to pull three orcs at once. But you know, we're an undead. We have dual daggers now. We have skills. We have a crossbow. Fantastic stuff. We're going to get on with this today, guys. I hope you're strapped in and ready for some dungeon action, because you will be seeing it today. Oh, lovely little sword there, straight from Stratholme. Maybe we'll wield that at some point. Anyway, guys, get ready. Going to be up for something good today. Time for a bit of Zeppelin and party action, as you can see here. Have a following in tow. A whole host. What a nasty man. So, my merry men, we have been dropped here in Orgrimmar, literally off the side of the Zeppelin, kicked off by a nasty priest. And here we are in Duratar, ready to kill some hidden enemies hiding in the shadows in Skull Rock. Yeah, I remember doing this quest many, 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 many times, doing it on an undead rogue myself, about seven years ago, and loving it. There is nothing better, as I've said several times, than chilling out in the drag as an undead rogue. Just, you know, maybe you're waiting for your raid to form or something like that. Get away, warlock. Prozark. Get away. This is why we get guns. Aha, he's gonna cast a spell. Thank you. Thank you, Prozark. You're not you can you can help me. Maybe maybe we can liaise. Can we liaise perhaps? Perhaps if we liaise. Do you want to liaise? He does want to liaise. Excelente. See another person. You know, questing is so much more fun when people liaise together. When I get to steal all the loot. Whilst Prozac does the job. Just gonna fire for crossbow bolt because it looks awesome. And I need to make the most of me. I use ranged weapons now, my rogue. But yeah, um, nothing better than if you're waiting for a molten core run. Oh, there we go. Is that me done already? No. Oh. Get rid of the Dalaran Sharp. Take Lieutenant Signia. And I think that might be us. Thanks, Prozac. Good man. Oh, hang on. Let me leave. Yeah, just... There's nothing that feels more vanilla than chilling out in Old Org in... Say, the drag. Waiting for your raid to form up. Just being a rogue. Being a rogue about your business. Preferably on a Frost Wolf. Or a Raptor. Nothing better than Undead on the Orange Raptor. Best thing that you can have. But... As you can see here, we are just racing about using the sprint at the moment because we are without a mount and we shall be for a long time. Let's just kill a boar. Test out the skills. I've not been in game for a couple of days. Just want to see if I've got that slice and dice action. It's nice to be able to gear up alongside your level, whereas what I was doing before on um, my other playthroughs, because of the advanced leveling rates, uh, gearing up a bit too quickly. I kind of wish that it'd taken us a bit longer to get the Lieutenant's Insignia. Maybe I should have grinded for a little bit longer, just to get some extra XP. Because it's going to be a while before we get to level 15. I'll probably have to complete a few more quests, and then it will be time to burst into um, RFC. And hopefully get us some nice loot. I know there's a Fellblade Cleaver, a lovely sword that we can get there. Ooh, an Elder Model Bear, just ready to be skinned with my skinning knife. We are really going well with these professions right now. Hopefully for leather. Ruin leather scraps. Come on, dude. I'm not even going to take that. Ooh, actually, actually. Yeah, seeing as I've got... I, I normally wouldn't take it, but... Seeing as I had uh, um, one already in my inventory, I may as well. Usually, if my inventory 
is getting full and I don't already have a ruined scrap but I won't take any more because I like to save the space. Uh, people drooling outside org. Whether you're playing in Ward or playing in the early days of vanilla, it's all the same. Can we all just take a moment to enjoy? Hang on a minute. I want to enjoy his quiver. Where is his quiver? Well, let's at least enjoy the fact he's got a bow out and an axe at the same time. Level 10 undead warlock going up against a level 10 hunter? Never going to go well for you. To be fair, I'd win the fight against either of them. But just out of dint of being a rogue, not because of my skill or anything. Not because I am a skilled man. With Will of the Forsaken, of course. Oh, all of these Tauren druids running about. It's fantastic. Another thing that I always really loved about playing, say, a human, or playing an undead, but especially an undead, is because you're the smallest race in the horde, and there's something really cool about, like, Taurans just seem huge. Like, if I stand next to this Tauren, um, Grizzabola, I hope that's not uh, an unsavory reference there, um, Look how big... Oh, he's fucked off. Look how big he looks compared to me. Look how big this Kodo is compared to me. It just makes these bestial races seem that much better. I mean, even the Overlord Run Thalak, who I killed many, many times in Siege of Orgrimmar, he looks like a big man here. Let's uh, bow down in the presence of greatness for one moment. We all know that Saafang is uh, the bro. The broski. This place is full of people, and the best thing about this server is knowing that it's this populated, yet at the same time it's populated with people who are all going to be on this same server. There is no cross-server stuff like there is now, so if I make a friend in a dungeon, as if that would happen, I am a rogue, I don't make friends, only enemies. Um, that's an ugly ass sword. <laughs> if I make a friend, then um, I know that I can group up with them again, because they're on this server. Cool hat. Loving the hat. Right, so we've got to go to Thrall, who is not in his green Jesus stage, he's being a bro at the moment, he's uh, in his armour, doom hammer at his side, this is before the Garrosh days, that phase that he went through, um, and we will hand in hidden enemies. It's always nice to spend a bit of a video enjoying uh, Orgrimmar, I've had a few people say that the thing that they like, especially about my series, as opposed to other people's, um, is that I don't particularly cut my videos, and that's not me being sloppy, I intentionally like to leave as much footage in as possible because having watched a few playthroughs before I started joining a vanilla server, I know that one of the things that people want to see more than anything is just what you would normally do. It, you know, like, fair enough, people want to see the action, of course, but at the same time, there's something that's quite intrinsic to playing vanilla uh, about just travelling around. That's something that you do, and it's kind of the fun things about the game. You feel like you're in a living world, whereas now, I was commenting to a friend the other day, now if you play World of Warcraft, you can start off at level uh, 1 and never need to go to a city. Uh, unless, until, like, when you hit max level and you want to change towns or whatever, you never need to go to one. In vanilla, you just have to, and it's great that you have to, because you feel like cities are these nexus of um, of people, of community, and all this stuff, looking for group RFC. You know, I might just try and get a cheeky RFC in here, after I hand in the quest to Thrall. Thrall is going to tell me, so the 46 warrior, oh, grunt dudeful, you are looking very, you are looking cool, you're looking like a, an almost an RP character right now with your with your big plate shoulders on and your dual swords. You're going with a fury build. Don't know if it's a good idea this early on, my friend. You should maybe go arms. But uh, you'll be wanting that obsidian-edged uh, claymore, cleaver, whatever it's called. Anyway, here's the man himself, Thrall. Hidden enemies. Now we must go and do one of my favourite quests. We go to Nero Fireblade down in the drag and do what rogues do. I mean, you, could, you do this on every... Uh, on every character, on every class, but this is a very roguish quest. It's all about uh, infiltration, deception, things that... Ooh, what the hell does this guy want? Zor Lone Tree. Ooh! Quest to go to Stone, uh, Stone Teller Mountains. Don't mind if I do. This scene, can I just say, um, this image is one of my favourite in the game, and in fact, I think that I'll probably use this as the, uh, as the, the screen the um, thumbnail for the video. Just, this is old Orgrimmar. You've got Manoroth's armour here. You've got Gates of Orgrimmar on one, at one point. You've got the drag, you know, the proper drag where it's actually dark in there and you feel like a rogue badass because that's your realm. And it's fantastic. But yeah, let's go and confront with Nero Fireblade. I'm going to keep this all as one cut, I think. 
yeah, I feel like we're in the zone. I think you guys are probably going to be enjoying this when you watch it. I think you want to see things going on. I am jealous of you. Level 52. Jesus Christ. I really did spend a long time being away this weekend. I have suffered for it. I could have been level 25 by now. But then again, um, better to savor the level experience. Make more videos for people. See what people want to see. Maybe when I'm at max level, people will see the one thing that never seems to be around, which is full raids. Full raids. Rather than, you know, single boss fight. Full raid, two hour long parts or something like that. Or several hour long parts. Anyway, Nero, can we just talk to you, mate? Yeah. You may speak frankly, Nero. Seriously, Nero, all I'm saying is, man, you kind of. For a warlock who's supposed to be really clandestine, living in the heart of Orgrimmar, you're not really that clandestine, my friend. I just told you to speak frankly, and you just opened up. You've already started spouting treachery against Thrall, talking about the Burning Legion. Naive fool, I always love this part. The Burning Blade is the Shadow Council! I remember when I um, played uh, <laughs> WoW for the first time, and this happened, I was just like, Jesus Christ, the level of deception is uncanny. Anyway, so the Searing Blade is expendable. Everyone is expendable to Orcs. That's just the way of it. Orcs expend everybody. Everyone is expendable. Anyway, we've gauged his reaction. See you later, Nero. Gonna go and tell Thrall what you've just said. Whatever happens to Nero? I've gotta ask. Is there a quest line later on that I just haven't done? Or does he just live forever? Or does he die unbeknownst to me, because I want to know. I want to gut that motherfucker. He's a traitor. He's a traitor to my horde. And I might not give a shit about the horde in Ward, but I tell you now, when we play vanilla, those alliance, you know, I feel like Garrosh, you know. I, if I, um, somebody comments on my video saying, yeah, I just started a, a human, it would be nice to, uh, um, maybe, uh, add you on my friends or something on, on one of my horde alts, and I'd be like, my response to that would be, as Garrosh would say, I thought I smelled the stench of Alliance pigs on my channel. I'm just joking. Uh, you can play Alliance if you want. I actually prefer some of the Alliance zones. Um, I like the architecture of, for example, the humans. There's something that's quite nice about uh, going into like one of the old inns and stuff like that. It's kind of why I like the undead too, like the idea of the old medieval buildings and things like that. But I also really like this old shamanistic orcish architecture too. So. Enough of rambling, let's go back and talk to the main man himself. Who have we got running in front of us? Someone with the Savory Deviant. Oh. Flip out. Broken Tusk. Level 15, Troll Hunter. Very good choice, my friend. With the Raptor as well for the RP value. Loving it. Butch. Nice pull with that name, my friend. Here we go. Let's see what the main man says here. Right, so... We've been betrayed. Now we're going to kill Basilan and Jurgosh the Invoker. So we've gotten all of our RFC quests. So now, guys, enough talk. It's time for us to find ourselves a dungeon party. Hey there, guys. Welcome back. As you can see, I have managed to rustle up, rustle up a specialist team. A team of um, specialists, you could say, for, for, the, for RFC, if such a thing exists. Uh, and specialists, I say, because if you look at the composition of this vanilla, remember, vanilla dungeon comp, you'll probably find it a bit strange. So, at first, you have your main man, Malevolus, the rogue here, level 14, very skilled, very wily, very ready, has the Coolio hairstyle. Then you've got a level 10 orc warrior, DPS, DPS orc warrior, with shield, with shield, but DPS, level 10. I would normally have instantly wanted to kick this guy, but I joined a group with this guy and this Eklinka person, who um, is a level 15 shaman. Also, not healer, not healer, um, elemental, going with the full-on um, shaman DPS, level 15 vanilla, with uh, axe and shield composition as well, maybe a possible secondary tank, but anyway, um, I didn't really want to beat around the bush with it, I wanted to try and get a group formed as quick as possible, so... Um, Hang on a minute. Asking if I've got sap, and I can't even remember myself right now. Um. Yeah, I do. Um, anyway, so we've got the level 10 warrior in DPS role, with shield, bear that in mind. The um, level 15 shaman, with shield, and DPS role. Uh, level 16 torrent druid in healing. The old school way, Mulgard, doing it right, my friend, doing it right. 
happy to have you with us. And then we've got Tree, the level 16 undead warrior in the tanking role. So our support, our tank and healer are looking pretty good. And then of course it's myself doing the um, the moonwalk uh, in true rogue fashion, ready to uh, rock and roll as it were. Just make sure that I've got sap on my hotbars actually. How noobish of me. Put that in number one. Oh, everyone's running in. Here's Tree. Just wanted to check that he's got a even got a fucking shield there, but right. So here we are, guys, inside the RF of C, Ragefire Chasm. Oh, straight into the action. Level 13 elites. Let's get the zoom out. Tree's got the aggro. That's a good sign to begin with. Of course, this is vanilla, so he'll only ag be aggroing one uh, mob at a time. And uh, good sign so far. Things are going down quickly. Embossed leather vest there. Just going to greed on it. I of course can make those. I don't know why I've just uh, stealthed, it's probably a la loss of DPS, so uh, not that I'm going to be doing much DPS anyway. Here yeah, I'm going to get my slice and dice on early, because these mobs go down pretty quickly as soon as the whole team goes in. Um, just be getting off quick two combo point of er uh, eviscerates here. I can skin all these things, that's interesting. I think I'll just stealth this guy. I tried, to garo uh, I tried to sap him, what a noob. Well, a noob. I haven't been using stealth much on this character because it's kind of useless in leveling. But um, I'll be using it for the purpose of sapping a lot in this in this dungeon. But I um, wanted to try and clear as many uh, mobs as we can whilst in the dungeon itself because you want to get as much experience as you can from these guys. And they're dropping a lot of greens, which is lovely, lovely to see. Oh, fuck it. I'm not even going to bother stealthing unless I need to sap something. Oh, I think it might even be a. Um, an energy loss overall. Right now, anyway, with, with what I've currently got up in my talent at the moment. Yeah, we should hit level 15 during this Dungerino, which should be good, but look at this. Dual tanking, Shaman AFK, with the shield. Loving it. To be fair, Tree knows what he's about. Mulgore's on it, he's scratching his ass there. Lovely to see. Hopefully, one day when this channel is uh, <laughs> world famous. Um, people will look back and see themselves in Nost. And uh, this is the, another thing that I like about Vanilla, is that you, you remember the names of people that you do dungeons with in Vanilla, because you have to group up with them and you have to conversate with them and things like that. Uh, which is really nice, to be honest with you, and uh, as I was saying to a friend who I was trying to recruit onto the server, really, um, the good thing about Vanilla is that you essentially, if you want to, you can make friends with at least one person in every dungeon group you go with. That's awesome. That really is great. That's why I play an MMO. I play it for the social feel as well as for the content. For fuck's sake, I keep wanting to stealth. I always have my stealth in um, all initiations of WoW bound to caps lock so that I can quickly tab in and out. And then I have like the anti-stealth tab to, uh, to caps lock as well. So when I'm in stealth, I can just go straight out again. But um, I keep wanting to because I play a sub-rogue in retail. I really keep wanting to just you know pop into stealth all the time. It's kind of pointless right now unless I want to... Backstab or sap, but backstab doesn't really do much right now. I'm kind of got kind of combat right at the moment, which is good because this is what I want to be. Combat's where it's at. The true fury, fury warrior of early game. Wow. Oh right, well I could have. Um, oh shit! I'm fucking running. Oh, fucking hell! Not swift. Mulgar knows where it's at though. He fucking sorted it out. Ah, pull a second. And the third. This could be a wipe if we don't uh, get some kills on the board. People need to start attacking the one that the, the guy is attacking, that's the thing. Anyway, this guy's dead. Oh god, everyone's out of mana too. This guy's down. Now this guy. Yeah, we're good. Worst comes to worst, my sprint can come first. But, oh shit, tree might be fucked here. In which case, evasion is on the cards. Tactical ability needed. Okay. I'm gonna save the, ev uh, the evasion until when he's on me, but Mulgar. Mulgar taking for the team. Oh god, are we, uh, Are we, you know, are we kiting him here between us all? Good stuff. Good stuff, well done, guys. Let me, uh, give this woman a quick, uh, quick band bandage. Help her out a bit.
No worries. Nearly 15. I'm looking forward to hitting 15, getting another talent on the go. Be awesome stuff. Uh, it's really nice to, to enjoy my first dungeon, feel like it's a bit of an expedition. I'll probably try and sap a trog when we go to the next part. Oh god, I keep pressing map thinking that I'm going to see the dungeon map, but um, if I'm right, there should be a trog boss in the corner here. Um, I think he's called... I don't know what he's called, but he's a trog sort of shaman boss, if I remember. There's one up here, a mini one. And then there's obviously Jagalan, um Bargosh, I think his name is, or something like that. Let me sap one, let me sap one. Alright, well. Okay. Ah, don't flee, don't flee. All of that for a shitty backstab. That's why I'm not backstabbing, by the way. I'm never going to demonstrate that again. I was going in for the sap there, I wasn't going in for a backstab, unlike one of the other guys, but they decided to kite instead. Which is fair enough. Hopefully this goes off, kind of tense stuff, having to fulfill my roguish role. Oh no, it didn't work. What the fuck? Not really much I could do there. This is why you need to put points into improved stealth, you see. This is like the purpose of that talent, um, the, this subtlety talent right here, increases the chance that, uh, decreases the chance enemies have to detect you whilst in stealth. This is why you have it, because stealthing isn't just a case of if you're in stealth and you're behind the target you will always get things off. You can be detected, like I was there, and it's not good. But uh, we can do it, we can kill three here. At least we know we can handle three of them at once, which is uh, good stuff. Attempted to pull with the crossbow. Now you understand why rogues and warriors have uh, weapons like that in vanilla, so they can pull things at range. I can't tell you how many times I've experienced warriors being able to run through a dungeon so much easier because they've got a fairly decent ranged weapon. It's just so vital. Right, we're going to have to take these three on the left. This is what I like about vanilla dungeoning. It feels like we're in a dungeon. RFC is a joke in retail. It's like you go through it in about five minutes and then you're done. This is an actual um, difficult experience. Like I feel a challenge here and if I get loot I will feel good about it. That sums up pretty much why people like vanilla. Challenge and reward with a need to socialize mixed in with that as well. The feeling that if you're a DPS you have a role to do beyond just simply hitting things, you know? That sort of role. Oh, what's going on here? Is the you know, an extra man pulled? No. All right. I don't know if Tree will make this one. No, he should be. No, no, no. I don't think he's going to make it. How about someone else taught or something? Am I going to have to bandage Tree? I'll bandage Tree. Rogue healing. Doesn't work. Tree's going to die. Yeah, Tree's dead. No, he's not. Oh, thank the gods. Thank the gods above and below. He managed to pull that one off. That's kind of the hardest part of this group um, over. Uh, and I hope you guys, when you watch this, don't particularly find it boring that we're having to go through mountains of mobs. You guys want to see vanilla? This is vanilla, for good or ill. I personally really like it. I would also, um, uh, I would also like to apologize if you can hear any background noise. People are doing work in the house next to mine, and I can't really do anything about that, really. Um, it was either wait for however it takes for them to um, finish, or 
they're gonna pull the guys around the corner here? No, thank god they're not. Okay. Get behind them straight away. Two combo points, slice and dice here. We don't have much energy efficient uh, abilities right now. Just burn this guy down. Right, he's done. Back on this one. Chip Axi, giving it the deeps, the double rend. Loving it, vanilla style of play. Get the second slice and dice on. Does slice and dice not carry over anymore? Does it? No, oh, it seems to. It's good. Good stuff. Ooh. Patterns. Agreed. Always worth putting on the auction house. It's nice to see how many people have taken professions. Really like it. Someone said they had the satchel quest that you get, which means going up this little hill here, and I was just wondering if they could share. Oh! What's going on? Rage Fire Shaman. Ah, so it is. I forgot about this part as well. Uh, I've got a story to tell about this little um, hidden path. I didn't go down this path, okay, until fairly recently in game. I think it was in Mr. Pandaria that I actually first went down here. Or, um, it might, no, rather, it was the first time I noticed that this was here was when I was doing it at the Rage Fire Chasm. It might have been on Phoenix, but I was doing the dungeon and I went down there for the first time and had no idea where the fuck I was. And I was like, oh my god, I didn't even know this part was here. And that felt so cool because. This is like something, I know this dungeon so well, like, I could tell you where every single boss is, how to take on every single mob pack. I know it as if I was practicing for a raid, and then I hadn't even noticed there's this other huge part of it right over there, it's awesome. Yeah. Just a bit of my nerd, nerdgasms there. Anyway, so, same, same business, killing drugs. The unexplained race of WoW. Trogs. I think Trogs are supposed to be like deformed dwarves, aren't they? Like dwarves that were cursed or something like that. They're like the, the goblins of WoW, really. Okay. Um, are we just going straight on? One small gore of Grains is, uh, Grains is shit. Okay, Mugot, you're ready, man. Boom! Straight in with the crossbow bolt, doing it for the team. Then tree in with the charge. Loving it. Seriously, I have missed having a crossbow. I am going to make the most of having this crossbow. And in fact, I'm probably going to get just a normal bow and arrow because I want to have the quiver. I want to experience the joy of having a quiver on my back when I'm firing. Do I get that with a crossbow? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'll know here because he's going to go in on the pull. And if. No, I don't, yeah. I, I don't get the, to um, use a quiver on the crossbow. Yeah, that's why I'm going to get a bow, right? For vanity's sake, let's be honest. It is a vanity item until it starts giving stats. I know there's a bow in, I think, um, Black Fathom Depths. I'm sure that um, Venom Spite, I think it's called. Oh, there we are, level 15. That uh, And that bow drops. Stuff. I've missed people saying uh, G, uh, GZ when you uh, ding as well. No one says that anymore. Miss it. Oh man, I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of this right now. So, what to put our point in? Let's help our guys out for a minute first before we uh, make that decision. So, what are our choices? We can have increased dodge, makes a bit better with survival. Um, increased gouge, might be good for utility, definitely good in PvP. Increases the damage from striking behind with those abilities, or increases chance not to be detected. What have we got here? After killing an opponent, yields experience or honor. Increases the critical strike by 20%. Hmm, that might be worth it. I think I'm going to get my um, base crit increase first, though. Ooh, 40. Ooh. Ooh, I'll be taking those. Yes! Green loot means more to me than rare loot in retail. Fuck off the clinker. I mean, you're a nice dude, but you're playing vanilla. Why would you be wanting leather gloves? Are you playing on enhancement? Because if you are, you're doing it wrong. You're going to have a bad time, right? When you get to max level, if you try to play enhancement with a s with an axe and shield, you're going to have a bad time. Look at those gloves, man. You're living it. Can I get a an embossed armor on there? Oh, I can as well. Oh, increasing all the armor. Nearly 25% damage reduction. I am tanky as fuck. But anyway, here we go. Up, oh, we pulled all three. It's alright though. We'll be good. Okay. 
This is why I need to get gouge, but I tried to save money on it. But now I've got like the, the a gold, so I should be able to buy all my abilities. As soon as I get out here, I'll just get all the things that I've missed. No, oh, I can't wait to have some kind of speed increase. Or the combat um, ability, which just increases the um, amount of damage done by my offhand. Because I feel so slow. Even with uh, even when I have slice and dice on, I feel really slow. There we go. Get a few more combo points off, see if we can get another slice and dice. There we go. Wasn't really worth it though, but... Rat cloth belt. Nice. Sounds delicious. Okay. Anything else? Hope you can't skin trogs, because that'd be kind of a bit disturbing. But yeah. Okay. Off we go. Yeah, so you wanted the rat cloth belt. Two stamina, two spirit. And the agility stamina gloves. Are you going for a hybrid build, or is this just vanilla fuckery? I am inclined to believe it is the latter. But yeah. Okay. Come on. What are we doing? Let's go. If, ain't, if no one's gonna pull, right, the main man Malevolus is gonna pull. I'm a rogue, I've got places to go. I'm just standing behind, even though there's no real reason to. I, I don't know if we get an, um, an ability which does this, like a a, um, a talent, but I would love if, it, if there was a talent that just meant that standing behind, I just had an, in general an enhanced crit chance. I'd like that. But anyway, what have we got up here? Trog and a shaman. Okay. Maybe pull the trog down here. Pull him out of here. There we go. I know what I'm about. The shaman's on me, though. Should be fine. Get the slice and dice on. Oh, he's getting healed by the shaman. Dirty man. Filthy behavior. Okay. There's the shaman himself. Okay. Focus the trog down. We've still got a load of time on our slice and dice. Get some more combo points. I think we'll just uh, eviscerate this guy. There we go. Adding the tactical depth to a level four, uh, 15 dungeon, complete with level 10. Shield bearing DPS warrior. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Right. They want me to sap the person here, but getting behind one of these guys because of the way they're facing is going to be incredibly difficult. But oh, oh no, didn't work. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, we're fucked here. But on the plus side, if we can kill the bodyguards, if we run back in. Can work it, but no, I think actually no, we'll, we might be okay. Oh shit, they're, they're focusing the healer though. Up, oh, the healer's dead. Yeah, no, we're not okay. We're gonna have a bad time. Come on, kill, kill at least one of these guys. Come on, let's kill one. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm out. No, oh, I was too late as well. God damn it. Yeah, impossible to sap at such a tight uh, is Oh, look at that view. That is fantastic, isn't it? Even in ghost form. Nothing like running into old Orgrimmar. Not like shitty new Orgrimmar all about spikes. Urgh. Anyway, not much that I can do in such a confined space trying to get the sap off. It's really, really difficult. Uh, especially at this level where I don't have such improved stealth. I've only got rank 1 stealth. And I haven't put any points in the improved stealth um, talent yet. But maybe, maybe we will see what happens when we get to... Level 16 might have a nice ability to get, but um, yeah, uh, this is what dungeoning is like in vanilla. <laughs> Basically, I mean, in what dungeon, in anybody's mind in retail, can you think of where you would have this level of trouble? I mean, this kind of demonstrates very, very well the difference between vanilla dungeons and, say, the dungeons of Wad. 
if you compare like heroic dungeons in Wad to dungeons in vanilla, like high end dungeons in vanilla, I'll explain to you the differences. For those of you who might be thinking, what's the difference between content in vanilla and content in Wad? It's a pretty simple thing, okay? Content in vanilla is hard because instead of really complicated mechanics, you have a lot less health, you do a lot less damage, and the bosses do a hell of a lot more damage, so you have to think a lot more about what you're going to do. It's like trying to kill a mob who's five levels higher than you. Um, that's what it's like going into every dungeon. You can go into a dungeon and killing mobs and, uh, and to try to take on a boss is so much harder because of how much more damage that they do. Now, compare that to Dungeons in Wad. Uh, the thing about Dungeons in Wad is that you hit a lot harder, the boss has a lot less health, this goes for every boss, you get healed for a lot more and you can get healed a lot more often, but the mechanics of the fight are a lot more complicated. Very, very, very more complicated. Much more complicated. Um, and really, it's just about personal preference, which you enjoy more. I personally think they're both interesting. I think that both styles are good. This is a far more, I would say, like a Dark Souls style of difficulty. It's all about having to decide what you're going to do, how you're going to go about an encounter, um, make the most of everything in your disposable, cons uh, in your disposal, com consumables, you know, um, using ranged weapons, all of your secondary abilities. This is why you had such a massive toolkit in in early game WoW, and you don't anymore because you don't need it anymore. And trust me, I'm not saying when I say uh, mobs don't hit hard in WOD, you know, you don't hit, you hit a lot harder in WOD. I'm saying this from the perspective of somebody who played a tank all through the beginning of WOD and all through High Mall, who um, ran through every dungeon, every heroic dungeon in WOD many, many, many times when they were very fresh, uh, when they were at the most difficult stage, things like the uh, Grim Rail Depot, for example. And I know that um, it's nowhere near as difficult in terms of sheer uh, damage that's done to you as it was in vanilla but I like this, this is my kind of difficulty I feel like we're all having to bond and this feels like a, a, a genuine quest really I think this is what the dungeon should feel like like every movement could cost you your lives and that you have to work together oh cups, 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 cups no wait tree, 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 tree hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. let me let it wait, tree! Right, tree. Chill out, bro. Right, here we go. Let's try this one more time. Let's try it again. Yeah, got it off, got it off, got it off. Oh, I'm such a perfect rogue. I managed to get a sap off. We should be fine now. We get slice and dice off. We're gonna have to do a fair bit of damage on him now. Awesome stuff. That's another thing you won't see very often. Stone skin totem too. Well, first of all, you won't see it because, because you don't really get them anymore in in, uh, in WoW. But I remember seeing like stone skin totem ten and stuff like that, and thinking, what the fuck? But yeah. So um, that demonstrates the need to use secondary abilities. What I was just talking about there. Just getting off the sap on a mob like that. I mean, fair enough. Of course, people still sap now. For example, Grimrail Depot, which I just said, I like would implore people to do the saps and the traps and stuff like that. Sap and trap. Ooh, got a chance to go to Thunder Bluff, which we'll be doing in the next episode. So many quests to take out from uh, Rage Fire Chasm. Um, I really, really, really like how you get like five or six quests for this dungeon from across the world. You get one from Nehru, you get them from Thrall, you get them from Barimathras, and now I've got one to go to Thunder Bluff. It's really, really cool because it makes you feel like you actually are, like I was saying, going on a quest and then once you're done, the journey doesn't end when you finish the dungeon. You've got to go on a big journey. and It's, it's the RPG value, which is what was so important to Vanilla. You know, the story of the game was tied up in the content and you felt a part of the story far more so than I feel now, in all honesty. But yeah, um, a borrow there. The only thing that WoW is doing right now that I really, really, really like is, well, beyond a lot of things actually I really like, but the, the main thing that I really like is how they're combining um, expansions. Like, they're making expansions um, be become, like, joined to the last one. Oh, good thing for one of you warriors. I'll just pass that on, let you guys roll over it. But then, um, what I'm basically talking about is say, if you look at um, Vanilla and then the Burn Crusade, okay? 
There is no continuity between Vanilla and the Burning Crusade. There is the world boss, Doomlord Kazak, true, but there is no like story continuity. You, know, you don't start getting quests talking about the Burning Crusade towards the end of Vanilla, for example, or as far as I know you don't. Um, the same with Burning Crusade and Wrath. Um, other than the pre-patch stuff, there, there was no real continuation. But then if you look at, say, um, Cataclysm, Mop, and Wad, the, the new expansions, I would say, like the the current expansions, not the Holy Trinity of Wrath, Vanilla and the Burning Crusade, you can start to see them like continuing the story over from the last expansion, which I think is a great touch, because the amount of times where, like, for example, the biggest, biggest example for me was after Burning Crusade, when we started doing Wrath, there was talk about things like, oh yes, we have uh, struggled against things like the uh, the Karaji, and we have struggled against things like the Burning Legion and Illidan. But um, there was no, like, well, what happened after? Like, okay, so we struggled against the Burning Legion, we struggled against Illidan. Um, what happened to Illidan's body? What happened to the Black Temple? Not until um, far later on with the Green Fire Quest would you get any real understanding of that. Anyway, I think that somebody just uh, pulled without mana. It's alright, warrior. You want to be rushing, but you can't be rushing these dungeons, my friend. But anyway, I really like the progress we're getting here. Everyone's uh, being quite social. Everybody's um, helping each other out, which is nice. We've got a good... Well, we've got a... For this level, it's hard to tell whether someone's good, but we've got a decent tank. Um, people are overpulling. We've got a decent druid. The thing that I like about this server as well is... Uh, and most vanilla servers as well, but this one so far in particular, is that... Um, from what I've experienced, most of the players on a vanilla server are people who already played vanilla, which kind of is a stamp of, not elitism, but of um, skill in, in its own. Like, if you were in vanilla and if you did raiding and stuff, you know what to expect from vanilla, you know the effort that you need to put in. So, the time as well that you need to put in. Like, we will be in this for another um, half an hour, 40 minutes, I would say. Maybe at least at least 20 minutes we'll be in here. And we haven't even killed a boss yet. We've, we've killed what I would call a, a kind of... Um, mini boss to do a quest we haven't actually killed a proper boss yet we will get to do so soon and I remember the first time I killed um, Jagalan I think he's called um, or Jargosh he might be called actually first time I killed this demon this demon boss Felgard I think he is I felt so badass because I saw the guy and was like oh god we're gonna fail here we're gonna fail here and then I killed him and handed him the quest to Thrall and was like I am a badass and Thrall actually gives us a, quite a nice reward at the end of this quest I'm just gonna loot everything here for for uh, some pennies, as it were. I am not even going to attempt the sap. Oh, here we go. Oh, and and the earth bar has been pulled too. Mini versions of Uru, as I call them. What's the focus being on? Is it being on the earth borer? People aren't really focusing on one target. That's going to not really work very well for us. You can have a bad time, Vanilla, if you focus on multiple targets at this level. Keep the slice and dice on is the main thing right now. Um, there's no real point in eviscerating because we don't have scrolling energy regen. We just have it coming back in spurts. There we go. Um, just at this level, keeping slice and dice on until we can get a reduction or the um, this time, which is what I'm building into, the increased duration. Then, then we'll be rock and rolling. Can't wait to get rupture as well. Oh, love this class. Love rogue. Rogue for life. Okay. Can we attempt the sap? That's what I want to know. Oh, he's done it. He's managed to pull. Yeah, so I hope that this video is what you guys wanted. I know that people wanted to see a dungeon. Um, a little bit of questing for it in Skull Rock. But um, I hope this is what you guys actually wanted to see, you know. Um, I wasn't sure whether you'd find it a bit boring, just a, a massive RFC run, but... But hopefully you'll enjoy it. It's probably going to be a massive video because of how long it takes to run RFC, but but I don't know. There's something nice about it. It doesn't get much more vanilla than doing your first RFC run, does it? Probably adventures you have. Hopefully it goes well. It's a rite of passage after all. I love seeing those rends, you know. I love seeing those uh, warriors putting up the rends and Sunder Armor taunt. Sunder Armor, yes. Loving it. Slice and dice off here. Oh, I might have to have a quick drink, talking for a bit, rambling on as I do, rogue rambles. A little drink of the lemon juice. Ah, lovely stuff. Refreshing. Go. Right. Back to business.
Oh yeah, one other thing, I do sing the praise of vanilla very much, but after all, I think that's what you guys are after here. You want to know why I play vanilla? You want more encouragement to play vanilla as if any was needed? It's fantastic. It's, other than Bone Crusade, it's probably the best time that WoW ever had. Which is a shame, really, but isn't a bad thing, because you can play it right here on the Stalrius, where you can have, by slash who... Oh, hang on. I'll just go with Undersea. If I slash you Undersea, you can see... This is currently, the time I'm recording this, this is lunchtime on a Wednesday, and there are 3,300 people online. That is insane. It's fucking insane. This is middle of the day on a working day. Even people in the US right now, unless you're on the Pacific, should be at work right now. And yet we've got 3,300 on. That is awesome. I was able to get a dungeon group at like 9 in the morning when I started. This is awesome stuff. So... What I was saying was, um, one of the other things that I like about Vanilla, whilst I sing its praises, is that... Am I going to attempt a sap here? This might be difficult, actually. Give me a moment to concentrate. Oh, alright, okay. Oh, okay, you pulled the one right out in the open. Oh well, should be okay. We'll be alright. I'll uh, quickly focus on what I'm doing right here. I mean, we're probably going to wipe here, but at least we can probably get at least one of these guys down. We've got the kiting going on with somebody else, which is fine. She can survive for now. Better that we kite around one of these mobs than they all focus on the tank. There we go. But you'll never ever hear that said in WoW. Better that we kite these mobs around rather than have them on the tank. But yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to survive this. So let me get back to what I was saying. One of the other things that I really like is WoW has a real charm to it, doesn't it? A humour. We all know about the humour that WoW has, you know. Things like Milhaus Mana Storm, for example, or Commander Andropov in AQ. That sort of thing. We all know about it. But in my opinion, what the fuck? Oh, are these part of the quests? Right. Let me uh, get rid of. I'll just get rid of a ruined leather scrap. Don't need all of those. Yeah, one thing that um, Vanilla Wild does better than any other initiation of the game is it um, it handles that humour so well, in my opinion. Like the idea of um, don't, don't know what to get rid of. Get rid of a mushroom. The idea of like that kind of um, The, sh the humour of WoW, basically, that, that like sort of charm that it has, that we all know about. So I struggled to get this book. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, ah, fuck it. I'll come back in a minute. I've got the books anyway. Um, yeah, the humour of WoW is is one of the big things that I know about this game and love, and that I'll always remember about it. But uh, it kind of became a bit of a joke in Miss Pandaria, didn't it? Like it? It stopped being just funny and started becoming like just kind of overly childish. Um, and I love like going back to this kind of the charm of WoW as it was in Vanilla, where it was kind of base and raw, but we all knew about it and we all loved it. Like that make love not Warcraft feel, basically, is what I mean. But I might just be bullshitting here, but I think that people who played in Vanilla or at least played through Mop compared to the other versions of WoW before it understand what I mean when I, when it comes to the kind of the more mature like you know gamer banter that used to occur, you know the memes and the the references rather than just simple. Idiocy. Alright, are we gonna go this way? Are we gonna go this way? Or are we gonna go the other way? I think we're gonna go this way. Alright! Oh. Alright, oh, okay. Didn't work. Guy decided to pull without me. Okay, man, you wouldn't do it. Currently, I'm uh, one for two when it comes to saps. I could do it. Anyway, okay. So, here we are. As you can see here, our first boss. Oh, it's Tagaman, that's his name. Taragaman the Hungerer. That was his name, not Jurgos. Jurgos is another guy. But yeah. Um, we're going to kill Taragaman in a minute, which should be fantastic. I can just... Uh, we can get to him. This is a bit tricky, this sort of lattice. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, as you can see here, this almost like um, apple pie lattice of uh, bridges and stuff. I think we're better going the other way around. But I'll pull this guy now. We're good. There we go. Next part is going to be pretty difficult. I might just try for a huge combo point of this right here. 
Boom. 56 damage. You know it. And the warped cloak. I think I'll leave that. I've already got a full inventory. My inventory's going to be absolutely full of uh, quest stuff here, so I think I maybe just... Actually, I could make a light hide now that I think about it. People are going to send me into sap again, aren't they? Even though they know it's a fool's mission. I'll make a cured light hide right here. And that should free up uh, space. Oh, it's freed up two spaces. Fantastic. Oh, we didn't even pull those outside guys. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Very well done. Fantastic play. That is true skill from the vanilla play. Or rather, it's luck on our side. That's another thing which comes into uh, into play a lot. I must say, guys, once again, I would love to thank you all um, very much for the support this has gotten. And also just the impetus. Everyone saying, when's the next episode coming out? Fantastic stuff. There's nothing that I enjoy right now in my gaming than playing vanilla WoW. Nothing more so. This is one of my... It's probably the either Behind Oblivion, my second favourite game of all time. And um, it's just the best fun I've ever had in an MMO. And so it's fantastic to do this again and feel like literally hundreds of uh, viewers are enjoying it along with me and uh, being entertained from it. Um, very humbling thing. Awesome thing to enjoy. Uh, and I'm just glad that you watch my videos because uh, other people are doing this as well. I would uh, advise you to watch other people's videos too. Allow yourself to be encouraged to do this because um, regardless of what your beliefs are on a private server, this is what vanilla was like. This is the vanilla experience. This is unbelievably fun. You will not regret it. And when you're in this server, you will forgo, as I did, any stupid ideas of, oh, it's a private server or whatever. You know, This is where it's at. This is where the fun is at. And besides, I'm a rogue. You know, I, I do bad things. So. Rogue at heart. Here we go. We're going to be taking on Taragaman here. The first boss of our playthrough. It's a really is a momentous occasion, isn't it? And hopefully we won't wipe. Got to bypass the haunch of meat. My appetite has left me. A pee break. Sure thing. If you guys go for a pee break, give me a chance to swiftly drink. Prepare myself for the challenges ahead. See, this is why I think you can probably understand from watching this. As it's a good example of um, a vanilla early game dungeon. Why people made friends with each other. Why your friends list was far more extensive um, up until about halfway through Wrath when they implemented the LFG. Because these guys are cool. Like, I've given them all little identities based on how they are in this video. you know. And I would probably think the same, just not say it if I was not recording this. And... Um, when when we part ways at the end of this, this dungeon, I'll know that these guys are cool, and I'll know that they're leveling alongside me, and who knows, three levels from now I might want to do Wave and Caverns, and Mulgar might be around, you know, I might end up being in a group with him, and you'd be like, hey, I grouped with you a while ago. That sort of thing is just awesome. I'm ready. Oh, not yet. Mulgar's not ready. Look at these people, this ragtag bunch of vanilla style. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Fire off the crossbow. To the Y, but for the banter. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and then we are, right? Let's get a five point slice and dice here. We don't need to, but let's do it anyway. If we can. Pull a bit of energy here so I can keep it away from having bottom. Uh, there we go. Five point slice and dice. Really not needed. It only lasts for 20 seconds. All stuff. Underwhelming as fuck, but yeah, here we go. Oh, he dropped the crystalline cuff, so I wanted him to drop his sword. But anyway, we got to Ragaman's heart. Awesome stuff there, crystalline cuffs. Uh, grats to um, Mulgar man. Hope you enjoy that. Oh, right, we're well, just greedy on it. I think I'm gonna pass on it actually, because I think I need spa uh, safe space for the stuff from the other guys. That went by really quickly. But yeah, we're nearly done here actually. We're nearly done this dungeon. Oh, look. Can I pull? Can I pull? Shall I shoot? I feel like the guy in Helm's Deep, you know him, the old man who uh, shot the Urukai without being ordered to, caused the Battle of Helm's Deep. What an asshole. Warmonger, those orcs were just doing a, a tribal dance. Right. Can't wait to have some rare daggers or thorn spike from Wayland Caverns. You see, I don't even know the names of all these weapons. Okay. And I love being the puller with my, uh, the master puller with my crossbow. It's fantastic stuff. I'm kind of worried how long this video is going to be, but um, up here in Glasgow I have fantastic internet speed, so should only take a little while to upload. There we go. I'm already halfway through level 15 from this as well. Praise B to rest of XP. Hmm. How are we going to do this? 
I'll attempt to stop. I shall attempt to sap. Okay. It's not going to go well. Oh, what the fuck? Why the turn? Why the turn? Why the turns? I'm running away. Am I still being chased here? Yep, I am. I'm running away. Okay, there we go. We're good. Give me recuperate soon, please. Right, the moral of the story, upgrade your stealth. Upgrade your stealth mittens, do it. Do it swiftly. But yeah, we're alright, this group knows what it's about. If we didn't have a level 10 uh, warrior, I'm not I'm not going to diss Axie, he's not wiped the group or anything, he's uh, he's just low level. Um, but if we say had a, a, like a level 15 mage or something right now, this would have been, this would be really easy. We could probably take on four. One go, but uh, having a second warrior, even a level 10 one, isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's always a a second uh, tank if we need it. Let's make some heavy loan bandages. Can't have too few of those. You've got to make sure that you keep on top of things like your professions and your first aid and your cooking, which I haven't even started doing yet, but will have to do so. And fishing too, which I also haven't started. These professions are really necessary to a man who wants to raid. And as much as the much uh, the greater times that I play Nostalrius, the more I play Nostalrius. The more I want to uh, to raid in vanilla, but let's not commit. Let's not commit. Let's see if we can uh, shoot this guy. Oh. Ah! Lace up your boots, cause I'm about to shoot a real motherfucker going out for the loot. You know it. If anyone can tell me what song that is, you earn a. Uh, I was going to say you earn a reply in the comments, but I try to reply to everyone's comments because, you know, like, why wouldn't I? I really, really respect that you guys watch my videos, but uh, you'll earn a smiley face from me, or a cat face. I'll give you a hint. It's from the 90s, and it's from a, um, a rapper, if you couldn't already tell. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got the Satyr boss and the Orc Warlock left to kill. I think the Orc's down there. Jurgosh, the invoker, and Basilan is the guy up here. Basilan drops a sword, now that I think about it, and we're probably going to want that sword, although I get the feeling that um, Axie might try to steal it from us, and if he does, I will be angry. I will try to use my roguish charms to negotiate with him. I'll try and negotiate with him, see if he can help me out. Because he's only level 10, I mean, let's be honest, he's not going to be able to use the sword for like 7 levels. Just uh, ask him now. I feel like a moany git, but you know, kind of I'm in my rights to say it, and I think it might be an agility sword anyway. If it's agi anyway, I can't remember if it's agi or strength. We're pulling this guy. Yeah, we are. Oh no! Oh no! Did we pull four? Oh, we didn't pull four. It's okay. I was so scared that for a minute there I thought, oh no, they're going to run all the way around here. Our attempt to uh, to kite has failed miserably. But, nope. Tree knows what he's doing. He knows the wily ways around RFC. We all know them. The back doors, the back entrances. I wonder how we're going to pull this next section. That's what I'm thinking about. Vanilla Woes. How to pull next pack of mobs. In Molten Court, it's going to be fantastic, isn't it? I can't wait. Uh... I can't wait to get my first core hound tooth, man. That's gonna be fucking awesome. Or, you know, the Urkash paw, whatever it's called. Might just have to steal it. Ah. Good man! Good man, Axie! Shout out to you, my friend. You're a good guy. Right. Axie and Elric are both in this Blood and Thunder guild. He only wants axes! Ah, right, probably because he's an orc. For a minute, I thought he just meant for, like, the aesthetic. And I'm like, yo, dude, if you just want to use axes, that's cool with me. What the fuck is going on here? Are you stuck? We have to be very careful here. Nope, not careful enough. Oh, what the fuck just happened there? Okay. Alright, well, that happened. Kind of went well for us. Moogar accidentally, uh... Fucked up. 
Because he's a fat Tauren, Taurens can't be rogues, so that's why I don't play them. Never played Tauren. Actually, that's a lie. I did have a Tauren Death Knight, uh, my first level 80 character. Um, but, uh, yeah, fuck Tauren. Tauren Warrior and Vanilla, yes, but um, nothing else. Pass that on. Let's get the uh, massive eviscerate off quickly. Oh, oh, didn't even get the chance. Didn't even get the chance. Oh, we'll take that potion. Potion and lotion. No, no, wait for more, Gore. Wait for more. Newbish style of player, Clinker. A Clinker. That sounds like a, a Finnish name. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Okay, here we go. Fine off the crossbow as well, because why not? From a range. Release the missiles. Get these slice and dice off. 16 second. Yeah, so we've got two bosses left. Um, Basilan, who's up there. I think that might be him. Oh no, it's just a Seaman Blade Cultist. Basilan is up on the cliff. And Jurgosh is down here. I think we need to kill both. I want to kill both because... Even if Basilan isn't part of the quest, he drops a sword, and the sword is good. So This isn't a sap attempt. Alright, okay. Going like this. I really shouldn't have done that. I'm dead. I'm sprinting. There's no point in this. There's no point in me sprinting, I'm fucked. Oh no, I'm not. I might be alright. Riley Rogue managed to escape once again. I should have probably evaded there. But there's no point in evading if you know that you're going to die anyway. Because if you know that you can evade and that might either get a kill on a boss or save your life, then evade. But if you know that you're going to die, never evade. Because look at the timer on evade currently. Five minute cooldown. Why waste it? The tree's dead. We should be able to kill this guy anyway though. Say should, but who knows. Mulgar tanking for the team. Faye's probably got the most health here. He's level 16, 200. There we go. Well done. Gonna make all the bandages necessary. Oh, I'm probably just going to uh, give Mulgar a little helping hand here so that he doesn't have to waste his mana on himself. Just uh, heal him up a bit. Now let's make ourselves some more bandages. We've got 14 at the moment. I'm going to bring it up to uh, 20. I don't want to make a second stack. This music is so Orgrimmar. <laughs> it's so, like dark Orgrimmar. It'll be interesting to do like Molten Core in the next year's lair after doing this. Like this place is literally a next year's lair minimum version. Okay. So. So, if I... Does this mean that... Is Orgrimmar built on like an active volcano then, or is this is it just like so low in the ground that there's like tectonic action going on this this close to the surface? I'm not sure. First star, then circle, then boss. That's a really weird marking system. No skull, no cross. Okay. Okay, I'll roll with it. I could attempt to sap. I could attempt to sap. I could attempt to sap. I could. Oh, tree's dead. Tree is dead. Why am I fucking? Oh, fuck sake! I was trying to sap the whole time. I'm an idiot. Fuck me talking about other people. I'm I'm an absolute fool. I'm disgraced my rogues brethren. But then again, rogues don't have brethren. Rogues are a rogue. A true rogue plays alone. Okay. A true rogue doesn't have a raiding guild. He just has a expendable team of assets. Okay. Here we go, kill this cultist, and then it'll be straight on to uh, Basil himself. Hopefully Tree will survive. If Tree can survive killing this guy, then we're good. Okay, here we go. Mulgar is completely out of mana. He spunked his load. He should have let me try and get a uh, sap off, because I had a lot of room to swing around the back of those guys. I may be just kidding myself, but I could have done it. I'm sure I could have done it. But anyway, we're going to kill Jogosh here. Hopefully he drops something cool. I think he's going to probably drop something which is more from a caster, which is going to be annoying for us, because we don't have any. But, uh, what does he drop? Yeah, I just dropped these. Oh, I dropped some mail braces. 
Everyone just dropping uh, green loot here because, you know, this is uh, vanilla RFC. Fuck rare loot. We don't deserve it. Okay, Jurgos Shane slain. Only one left. Yeah. Thanks for all. Actually, we're not done yet, man. We're not done yet. We need to kill Bazalan. Yeah. No, Axi! No, Axi! 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 Thank you. Fucking hell. Oh. Yeah, I can actually. Right, he's close and he drops loot, and I need him for the quest. And, you know, to be honest with you, I'd rather do all of the stuff here that we're gonna do. Okay. It's up here. Where's Axie? I'm scared that the group might fall apart. This is an LFG. I can't just get another person in for this last boss. And once, if this group falls apart, it's never coming back together. Not for one boss. Axie! What are you doing? No! Don't go AFK, Axie. You're only Actually, we probably don't even need you, man. No offense. You're level 10. Caras Picho! Or Piso! Or Pico! Caras? Are they talking about Carazan? Is that where he's going? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I can probably just pull without him, to be honest with you. He is like... Alright, okay. It's probably just BRBE men without saying anything. Which is poor raiding et uh, dungeoning ethic uh, etiquette. Yeah. Let's have a look at what we've got at the moment then. What quests have we completed and which quests have we got left? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Police are taking Axie's car. What the fuck? This is vanilla dungeoning at its finest. We've got the police involved. And hopefully hopefully it's the band taking his car rather than the actual the force. But yeah. Let's go without him. He will get the XP. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, you know, he's entitled to XP. I mean, the police are getting involved in his life, you know. At least he can have some XP from me, you know. Actually, you know, troubles with the 5-0. Anyway, <laughs> that's insane. Alright, <laughs> what have we got left to do? We've done all of these quests. We've just got hidden enemies left, and that's the one that I want to do, because that's the one which Thrall gives us a nice, tasty weapon as a reward for. So. Can we pull this guy? Without um, pulling the warrior? Yeah, I think we can. Awesome stuff. This is why you need to have a ranged weapon as a tank or a rogue. Ideally, Tree would be doing this because that way, if he pulled more things or if he pulled anything, the aggro would be on him. But we could perform madness, I'm sure. If we just uh, do it a bit right. Obviously, I think Jurgosh is just in the corner there. Bears at Basil on there he is. Sure thing. Yeah, we've we've got this in the bag. It should be easy if the group sticks together. If Mulgar doesn't need to go for dinner, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been a good one, hasn't it? I'm I've been in, I've been chuffed with it, having a good time. Massive eviscerate there, 62 damage. 62 damage. I wonder. I don't have a DPS meter right now, but I doubt I'm probably doing the most. It's probably Tree who's doing the most right now because he's got a uh, level 16. Although it could be me, actually. I'm not sure. Get the, the shot off on this guy. The crossbow. Here we are. Again, apologies for any background noise that you guys can hear. As I've said, I can't really do anything about it. It's either not putting out any videos or deal with it. You can't see rolls. You rolled one, more God. It's because your roll was so small, you couldn't see it. Okay. Let's keep the pace up here. We pulled him without the warlock as well. Oh my god, we're getting all of the good pulls. In vanilla, you can save like half of your dungeon time if you just pull well and don't wipe. Like this could have gone a lot worse than it has done. It's gone very well this particular dungeon, in my opinion. Okay, um, and now we'll tree will charge. Or not? He'll just go in with the, the solid hit. That's, that works too. Yeah, this shouldn't take long at all. 
I love this dungeon. Like, I just love everything about the fact that it's so it's such a good example of um of a vanilla dungeon, and that's why I'm loving it so far. Also, just this experience is far more challenging and feels more rewarding, even though we're only getting rare loot and I haven't gotten any yet. Just because it, it, it takes more time, you know? Mobs actually feel like challenging opponents, you know, rather than like inept guard number one, two, three, etc. Let's get the quick cheeky pull. Boom, with the crossbow shot. Only pulling one man, of course, because I have such accuracy and skill that I'm not going to pull loads of them. This is why I got crossbow. For this specific reason, this is why I got crossbow. Makes it so much easier to dungeon. Liz, bring range weapons back for melee. Bring melee weapons back for range. That's all I'm saying. So, nearly at the final boss, and then we will be done with this incredibly long dungeon video that I hope you guys have enjoyed as much as I have recording it. And uh, in the next video, I probably will just begin by showing all of the quests that I've handed in. Because um, that alone should take me to level 16. Which is good. I mean, this has actually leveled me quite quickly. And it means that when I go back to Silver Pine, I'll be ready for the quests that are there. Try to pull this. Is this going to pull Basilan? No, it's not. Thank God. Yeah, Basilan's going to drop his sword. Unfortunately for me, um, the only other person who could use the sword, who, will, who would want the sword, in my opinion, is uh, gone. He has left. Well, he's, yeah, he's dis disconnected. Okay. It kind of just shows that we didn't really need him at all, in a sense. Like, no offense, the guy who's a cool guy, actually, who's a nice guy. But uh, <laughs> this, is, this has been fairly easy. <laughs> Stealing the linen, Mulgo. Terrible style of play. I have been pulling out the, the splendid pulls, if I must say myself. Pulling them out, as it were. Yeah. Right, okay. The noise going on in the background must be really loud. I can't hear it because of my headphones, but I can just feel vibrations. You know. Sorry about that. Not much that I could do, but here we are! Right, Mulgo will get his mana, and then it will be time for us to get involved. Alright, okay. Oh, straight in with the charge. The early game charge. Here we go. He does do a ridiculous amount of damage, uh, does Basilan. But uh, we should be good. So, um... Yeah, we're going to be fine. hope he drops a nice sword for me. Something with good damage, but um, we shall see. Right. Boom. What did you drop? Did you drop anything? Did you drop nothing? You drop nothing. Did he? Did did he? Did uh. All right. Well, thanks, guys, very much for this uh, for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. That's the first of many, hopefully, dungeon videos, and it's a full one, no cuts, just the way you guys like it. I wanted to show you the proper RFC experience, but here we are, with my friends here that I made. Thanks to them as well, to Mulgar, Clinker, to Tree, and to Axi. Hope his uh, police problems, with whether with band or force, go well. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.